Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'd like to bring to you something a little different, seeing how we are all going through something and we do all have this in common at the moment. And what we all have in common is the fact that we have to wear these things. And I don't know about you, but I've been gaining quite the collection of these things. And if you're like me, and you got a little bit of style, and you got a little bit of fashion sense, this just don't cut it most days. So you want to see what kind of masks I've accumulated in my collection keep on watching because this ain't it I started with that one and then began to move on and this one was my next one which is good it's sterile looks clean it looks like we just came from a hospital but the bad thing is when I talk they always want to go down there and show off this lovely nose that I have going on here and that just don't work so that one don't work on the back I wrote my free Brittany So I've moved on and I've got this one. Came from the hospital. I had to go to the hospital one day and it's hard to hear from, but as you can see, it is not suitable for my face. It just falls off. So that one wasn't it either. They get caught in my earrings. So then I got this one. It's got flowers on it. It's nice. Goes with everything. It's a nice spring themed, summer themed flowers. And it does a pretty good job staying up on my nose. I just have to keep it up over there. It does cover my eyes, but it does a good job staying and covering my full face but that's not enough I had to go more so I got this tie-dye one and the straps this strap here it's a little bit loose and stays on pretty well but it's kind of big for my face and as you can tell I can talk clear through this one so it's got holes in it which I don't think is very good for a virus because particles can escape through those small holes and so I don't know what good that is. That's what that one looks like. And I love black. So this one is the one I wear most of the time. Black goes with everything. But as you can see, time to time, you can see my jewelry through there. So again, it's got very small holes in, in the fabric. And my nose pops out so I do wear this one quite often but that's not enough I have to have more I have this blue and black one which is very loose on my face 
and it covers my eyes or sneaks down and my nose pops out. So I don't know who designs these masks, but they're not always the greatest. Moving on. I don't know what number that is to this one here and it's got roses and doves on it. It's very thick. I do like this one. It gives me fall vibes with the with the roses and doves. It's a uh, I do like this one, but I find it very big for my face. I don't know, maybe being big is good for the face because then it covers the top and covers the bottom, but the bottom is a little bit loose. It like shouldn't be, it shouldn't be, have all this slack down here because germs could just get in and pop right up onto there and get into my nose. So I don't really go for this one very often. It's kind of annoys me. And then I have this plain blue one, which when I bought it, I thought, <coughs> excuse me. When I bought it, I thought it was black. And then when I took it out of the bag, it wasn't. So it's not really my favorite one, even though I get the blues quite often. I'd like to wear the black. And I do really like this one. It's a houndstooth fabric. It's one of my favorites. It's easy to breathe out of. And it stays above my nose and under my chin. So this one works pretty well. I like that one. And the last one I have that I wear most of the time is this one. It has these little things on the side so you can pull it tight or pull it looser depending on your needs. But I really like the way that these ones fit. It, it's um, sewed here into a, into a point and sewed here into a point so it, your nose and your chin are both secured inside It's really easy to breathe. My eyes are still visible. My chin is completely tucked in. So all in all, this one is my favorite one. Out of all of the ones, this one is my favorite. I did have I did have one more too, but I can't remember where I put it. Yeah, I have 10 places where I put stuff. So this one is my favorite mask. It's crazy that um, we've implemented masks into our fashion, into our style sense. I don't know. I think that eight months ago, if anybody would have asked me if I had a favorite mask or if I wore a mask, the answer would be hell no. But here I am eight months later with a mask collection. So life changes and the new normal in 2020 is the abnormal of 2019. Anyhow, that is my mask collection. Uh, 
Let me know if you have a mask collection and what favorite mask you have. I'd really like to get uh, a Swaskorsky crystal mask. Just one that's blinged up a little bit. But anyway, that's my mask collection. Hope you liked my video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!